Ah, oh, that stupid Hydra. Ah, I'm up. Hey, Hypnos. What would it take for you to let me through the locked door down the hall? Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. You know I can't let you enter your dad's private chambers anymore since you betrayed his trust and tried to run away from home. Sorry, Master's orders. Nothing for me back there anyway. You have a worried look about you, lad. Spare me your thoughts. Oh, it's just... I met the goddess Demeter out there. The blessings that she offered, they... just drain the heat and life from everything. I thought she sought of fruits and grains and vegetables and such. Not that I'm complaining. All gods and goddesses ought to be feared. Demeter, she has the power to give life, or take it. Seems she's more interested in the latter, though. She's the eldest on Olympus. And your father seems to harbor a particular dislike for her. I don't know why. Be careful. I will. You keep an eye on father for me, boy. Don't let him sour up everyone's mood. Cerberus promises to do exactly that, in his own way. Megara tells me that you surpassed her well out there. How utterly embarrassing for her, to say the least. I suppose you're going to punish her in some cruel fashion then? Oh, I've already seen to that, of course. You think she volunteered to deal with you? Nobody did. That's how ignoble a task it is. That's well, strangely comforting to know. Hey, that's the court musician's sentence. Long past due. House contractor, my good shade, have yet another job for your distinguished team. You have no authority in my domain. Meg must have gone back already. What's in stock? Cerberus featured house servant. Cooking's one way to pass the time. Till next time. How else can I improve? I'll sleep when I'm dead. There we go. Cora knocked the heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Psst. Oh. What the? Ah, yeah, boyo. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. If you insist. That's the stuff. What's that one there? You're pretty good. Oh, I heard you showed that good for nothing fury after all. I knew you'd handle that old crow, nephew. If she troubles you again, you just remind her who's in charge down there. the sea. Here, fishies. Yep. 
think I've got one. I got a hellfish. Sort you out already, hmm? My boastful brother gets on with Lord Hades even worse than I. So let me put a little spark into his storms for you. Thunder time. You take good care of Coronaut for me, so I can try it too once you're up here.
deepest reaches of the underworld. The void from which all life and consciousness sprang forth during the dawn of time. The realm of chaos. A land almost unseen even to denizens of death's kingdom. Could you keep it down? So often they forget themselves, and they force their blessings onto you, or whilst I, I merely offer you a choice. this time. Kieran's shot. Should come in useful. It feels unseemly to make contact from that most unpleasant boatman's stash of ill-gotten wares. Nonetheless, this was an opportunity. Delicious. Use the rod of fishing there. Got a bite. Hellfish. I'm back 
make. <laughs> it's been a while, Zagreus. You must have made it pretty far last time. Let's see. Outer reaches of Asphodel. Outer reaches of Asphodel. And I have to say, Meg, you are positively a sight compared with that blasted bone hydra stewing away up there. How very flattering to have compared me to the remains of some mindless, outsized lizard. Come, maybe I'll kill you just as easily as your new hydra friend. Tartarus. Got it. Love that sulfur smell. Troops are not for you. Thank you. 
than you are, Barge of Death. something. What do you want? From within a humble residence in Asphodel reverberates the golden sounding voice of Lord Eurydice, who once attempted to escape the underworld and failed utterly, much like Prince Agrius. You watch yourself, old man. You are just in time, Your Royal Majesty. Cooked up something special just for you. Oh, that's good. Bye. See you next time. Even there in your underworld, it seems quality hunting gear doesn't come cheap, apparently. have a lot of stops around these parts, don't you, Carol Nate? Most of the dead are here in Asphodel, correct? 
I'll just have a look around. I'll get you for last time.